Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whenever you're watching this, thank you guys for tuning in to Analyze and Educate. I got Ryan Willis as my number seven quarterback of the Memphis Showboats. Now I'm a shill for Ryan Willis. I, I've liked him since the spring league. Didn't know much about him coming out of Virginia Tech and Kansas. Originally went to Kansas. He's from Overland Park. And, you know, really kind of started following him once the spring league came around. Now Willis comes in. He's got a big chip on his shoulder. Was recently released from the Michigan, or excuse me, the St. Louis Battlehawks after losing the job to AJ McCarron. Uh, McCarron kind of blew him away. You know, Mike Mitchell reported in around September that this was Willis's team. Anthony Beck had other things to say. McCarron's a Beck guy, and now we're pushing on with Willis on the showboats. Now, I think because he is. Got a decent amount of experience. He's been in the NFL. He's played at the spring in in the spring league, winning the MVP, winning a championship in Hal Mummy and Stan Bedwell's air raid offense. Um, I think he's gonna eventually take the job from Brady White. White, if you don't know about Brady White, he's not on my rankings. I'm not very high on him. Wasn't impressed by him last year or in the spring league. He was with the Alphas, but White's a Memphis guy. He went to the University of Memphis. He coaches at the University of Memphis. It's a good PR move to start this guy. I hate saying that because, you know, this is a guy's career and everything like that, but that seems to be the reality of the situation. Willis has this giant chip on his shoulder. I think he's hungry. I think he's ready to move. I think he's ready to make some plays and show everyone that he could be a starting quarterback in this alt-football universe that we got going on. Now, Willis did have a cup of tea with the Bears in 2021. He was even active for a game. I think he made about 70 grand in about four weeks. Um, it was pretty decent sh showing, obviously. He was released in May of, 2020, of 2022, so he missed out on the USFL last year. Was unemployed pretty much all of 2022 until getting drafted by the Battle Hawks in in November of 2022. A lot to prove for Willis. Seems like he needs more experience. I like the guy a lot. Um, arm strength is semi-limited. Problem is with a lot of these air raid guys is they get so fixated on the system and they don't have to make as many reads because there's a lot of quick passes and whatnot. So we're going to see how he does in the overall offense. Now, he does have that pro style. Um, he does have that pro style frame have that experience and pro-style offense, which is what Todd Haley is bringing to the table. Now, I'm looking really forward to seeing what he does. They got Rashard Davis there, Derek Dillon, in addition to Osiris Mitchell coming in as well at receiver. So I'm pretty pumped to see what he's got going on. Once again, Ryan Willis, number seven quarterback. Looking forward to seeing what he does. I don't think he starts week one. Went over that in nauseam, even in the Cole Kelly video. We're pretty pumped to see him actually get another opportunity to show that he is a legitimate all-football quarterback. Thank you, guys. Have a great night.